What better place to talk about red wine than Italy? Hello fellow learners, join me for the next couple of minutes as we discover an unexpected benefit of drinking red wine. I've made the part of Sicily without being caught by the Sicilian Mafia and now I'm back in Krakow in my apartment or as I call it my studio. So here it is. Red wine is actually good for you. Every time I tell people about this, I mean, usually they laugh or they tell me, yes, yes, I know, a glass of wine a day. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about drinking, actually, rather large amounts of wine in order to extend your life. Now, this is not just something that I'm saying. There is science behind it. And I'm not talking about science that um, I probably looked up on Google and found this. It's actually something that I came across while reading a series of books actually, 11 books, I haven't read the 11, I read oh, 9, that were published by the World Economic Forum. The title of this reading list is 11 books on the future of humanity that every person should read, well, everyone should read. Some of these books are science fiction, some mine are a science fact. Two of the books that I will talk about are the Thesis of the Future by Michio Kaku, I hope I'm pronouncing the name, the name correctly, and the second one is The Extreme Future by James Canton. Now, Michio Kaku in Thesis of the Future just mentions quite a lot of detail about the research behind red wine, but I'm just going to give you um, bits and pieces actually. So, the research comes from uh, MIT and it's about uh, the investigation of a gene that might lengthen the life, lifespan of cells. So there is a chemical called uh, Reservatol, and this chemical affects seal twins, and these are proteins. I don't know much about this, but anyway, that's the science behind this. And the science goes that um, Reservatol might be responsible for the benefits of drinking red wine, meaning that red wine contains this chemical reservatol and it affects uh, seal twins and it goes like this uh, drinking red wine may explain the what they call the French paradox and um, I found this funny and I will tell you about the French paradox French cuisine uh, contains a lot of sauces, a lot of fats, a um, lot of oil yet French people are considered to be uh, healthy people that live long and that's why they call it the French paradox and these guys um, from MIT they say that this may be associated with the benefits of drinking red wine although it's a may, there's not a lot of uh, uh, research or explanation into it and we need to understand as well that uh, just because there is association doesn't mean uh, causality but now going to uh, James Canton on the extreme future he mentions that um, there is possibility that certain diets can be tailored to certain people based on the, their DNA. They did some experiments, not James Canton, but he actually quotes who did the experiment, and the experiment was called the Greek study. Skipping a bit of the, the Greek study, he uses that information to compare it to uh, the benefits of uh, drinking red wine. And I just quoted this from, directly from the book, and it goes like this. Though every research on red wine, for example, shows promise for extending life, we don't understand this yet, and that's, I suppose, the interesting part. We know red wine is good, we know that it extends lifespan, but we don't understand how. And these guys are actually working on that, I suppose, and soon we're going to have um, a form of diet, I suppose, or, or medicine or injection or something that is going to be based on red wine and it will help us extend our uh, lifespan. Until then, I suppose the only solution is to drink some red wine. But the funny thing is that, without trying to sound a bit uh, crazy, people in the past most unknown about the benefits of red wine, especially because in Latin languages, when you cheer with your red wine, you're actually wishing people good health. So, here it is, guys. To long life. Salud.
again, my name is Eric. Thank you for watching.